the very beginning of human civilization, the problem has always been domination, control, power, and the misuse of power, and the misunderstanding of the concept of power. It's always about domination over nature, domination of uh, the animal kingdom, Relax. Domination of Don't the fight. Women, domination of it will be worse. The more you resist, the harder it's gonna be. I want to help you going through this. Don't be afraid. No one's gonna come. It's just me and you. The poison's gonna paralyze your muscles, your lungs, and your heart will stop. I added a sedative to ease with the pain. Don't resist. Let go. Yes. That's better. Calm down. This will be over very soon. Close your eyes. He's dead. Send me the money.
sure you want to do this? Yes, I'm sure. How do you feel? What is the most important thing in your life? Vibration. Everything is vibration. Earlier this afternoon, a strange phenomenon happened in the touristic city of Barcelona. Whilst the Football Cup final opposing Manchester United and Barcelona, a strange man appeared on their screens. The broadcast was limited to the metropolitan area and only lasted a couple of seconds. It seems like a bit of an earthquake here for the Barcelona inhabitants, especially the football fans, of what was the match of the year to be suddenly interrupted by a middle-aged man talking directly to the camera about the strangest things. Vibration. Everything is vibration. Local authorities talk of the possible hijacking of the satellite feed, but experts say they're not 100% positive of the cause. An investigation has been opened to find out the way and the motives of this bizarre intervention. As you can imagine, the video is all over the internet and the reactions of the people on the street is somewhat contrasted. You don't touch a football, motherfucker. It's sacred. Nobody respect anything anymore. We are the birds of chaos. This guy, if he shows his face again, he's a dead man. Fantastic, brilliant. I'm not kidding, man. Like, I didn't watch it live, but I watched it on the internet and this is exactly what we need right now. Like, people like this, like, this is every ship by there. This is massive. 
Like this guy that's gonna change everything in the world. Like he's a he's a new pirate, the new Messi, and he has came to like save us all from all this bullshit we have on TV. Like Babylon is falling, man. Bah. Big deal. I mean, a guy has a new gadget to show on TV in the middle of a football match. So what? There are more important things in life. There's war, there's hunger, there's child abuse, you name it. And who is still watching TV anyway? Come on, I'm gonna tell you what it is. People are bored. And this is just another marketing campaign for cosmetic, a car, or a chocolate bar. Is it gonna change my life? I doubt it. Officials have seriously condemned the action and police investigations are in process locally and nationally. The Spanish Minister of Communications has said even the eventuality of a foreign interception is being investigated. We have a satellite link with a Priscilla Alburn. Tell me, Priscilla, what is this all about? Well, Michael, it's very simple. This is one of the first steps towards the end of democracy. You can't do this. You can't just hijack TV and just say whatever message you want. If everybody did that, there would be complete chaos. And that's what these people want. They want chaos and confusion. Now, I think that these people are trying to test the defense system of our democracy. And if the authorities do not add proportionally to this type of aggression, I will be very concerned about our future. Do you not think it's a little bit exaggerated for such a little incident? You call this a little incident? I call this a declaration of war. Today it's Barcelona, what's tomorrow? New York, Paris, London, who knows? We don't know what's next. We don't know what are they capable of. Who is this group? What are their intentions? How much can they destroy? And what is their next place that they're gonna strike? Think about it. It could be during a political debate or during the news. We just don't know. And this is very serious, Michael. Now you listen very carefully, Crowford. Yes, Mom. This man hidden in Barcelona is a very real threat to my operations. You need to dispose of him immediately. Yes, Mom. I'm sending two of my best agents on the field. Is that clear? Yes, that's perfectly clear. Now good day to you. Good day. Rosa, welcome. Please take a seat. New facilities? Yes, the City of Arts. We needed somewhere a little more discreet. Sweetie? No, thanks. No? No. Yeah, these ones are really very good. Mmm. Here's your money. Plus, a little extra. It's really very good job, by the way. Thank you. You wanted to see me? Yes. I have another job for you. I don't want it. It's very well paid. Send someone else. What's wrong, Rosa? 
I went out. Well, you can't. I need you on this one. I'm tired. Well, you can rest after. Look, this guy is a real pain in the ass. And the people I have on my back do not take no for an answer. You don't get it. I quit. You don't get it, Rosa. I'm not offering you a choice here. How is that delightful mama of yours doing in that charming house you bought her in Mexico? They tell me her mole poblado is the talk of the neighborhood. Why me? Why? Not because you're the best, Rosa. Outside of this organization, nobody knows who you are. You can approach the target without raising any suspicion, as you always do. And most importantly, because I trust you. I really do. Look, I understand this line of business can be somewhat tiring. I hear you, I've been there myself. Yes, even me. Let's make a deal. Even though this breaks my heart, let's make this your last mission. I'll even double the money. And if you do this for me, I promise I'll let you go. Deal? The last one? The last one. Deal. I want this guy dead by the end of the week. Yes, master. Cut the crap, Gregor. Get the next flight to Barcelona. There's someone I want you to follow. Barcelona? Fantastic. So this is Will Gray. So, where are you from? You've got a lovely accent. <laughs> from Mexico. Mexico. Awesome. I'd love to go to Mexico someday. Must be amazing there. But you live in Paris, right? Well, I move a lot. You know, for work. Ah, yeah, the job, of course. Yeah. I know it's none of my business. I'm just a little bit curious. You don't have to answer if you don't want to. Why are you looking for this guy exactly? I'm here to recruit him. 
Well, or at least make him listen to the proposal. I'm a negotiator. I thought I told you. No, not at all. No, I only just said to give your hand in whatever I can. So, what kind of proposal? Sorry. <laughs> None of my business. So, what about you? Me? What do you do? Where are you from? Well, uh, nothing much to say really. Um, I was military, communication specialist, everything from phone tapping to radars, satellites, internet surveillance. Yeah, I was based in the north of England. I listened to Russians mostly. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to stop wearing green. <laughs> but I wanted to move to a sunnier place, so I quit and here I am, Barcelona. Checking out transmissions for the agency from this part of the globe. Kind of a quiet job. Until recently. I don't know what technology he's using. I mean, he's, he's everywhere at the same time. <laughs> I, cable, internet, TV, <laughs> without leaving a trace. It's, I mean, what he does is, it's not just brilliance. It's, it's virtually impossible. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think we're ever gonna catch this guy. He's, he's a ghost. The guy is probably dead. He officially died in Morocco five years ago. Transmission is probably an old recording. And what am I supposed to do with all this? Um, that's what you asked for. I mean, that is the whole file of the case. Are you kidding? This is all technical gibberish. All right. Okay, I think we've had enough work for today. Listen, let me show you something. Wow, it's beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, beautiful. You're not easy to find. Well, I feel safer that way. I'm dead, remember? You killed me. It's good to see you. I need your help. You know I'll do anything for you. I owe you my life. No, you don't. Yes, I do. They want me to find this man on the TV. Are you sure you want to dig into this? I have to try. Why? Everybody is after this guy. The Yankees, the Russians, the Chinese, they're all going crazy. Just drop it. They threatened to kill Mama. I need to buy time at least. 
Okay. Let's see what I can find. But this all smells funny. The underground scene here is going crazy about it. People feel something is gonna happen. They can smell it in the air and in the street and in people's conversations. Where can I start? You may want to try this guy, Bernie Wilson. He's a little crazy, but he may be able to help you. Just bring some cash. Thanks. Funny times. Just for protection. Relax. I just want information. Okay. All right. Sit. So what was this about? The man on the TV. Yes. Him. I would like to talk to him. You know where he is? He's nowhere. He's everywhere. You won't find him. But you said you have information. Communication, mass media, propaganda, mind control. He is aiming at the core of the opinion creating system. Opinion creating system. He's like a Trojan horse in the Matrix. Do you know why Hollywood is called Hollywood? <laughs> because it's holy wood. Holy wood, the wood of holy. The wood used by sorcerers and witches, the magic wand used to transform reality. What's your point? The important thing is not really what happens, but what you think about it. They are shaping reality by telling us fairy stories. Don't you get it? Do you want some tea? No, thanks. <sighs> Mr. Wilson? Yes? Where's the guy on that TV? I don't know. Uh, nobody knows. He goes in, he goes out. It's like this. He's somewhere in the Matrix. And he's getting in and out through some vortex or wormhole or some high-end alien technology. <laughs> I know what you think. I'm not crazy. 
I have a condition where my brain releases too much information and it's difficult to process and sometimes it overwhelms me. Because, you know, life is not a straight line and sometimes it's a mystical battle and it's light versus dark and sometimes you're dark and white and, and then you change and you're grey and you change again listen, and listen, it's dark listen, and white. Listen, listen. Where's the man on that TV? You won't find him. Unless he wants you to. He may find you, but you won't. He's too big, too powerful. And I'm not taking sides here. I mean, this battle has been going on for centuries. You know, the dark side, the good, the light, and the dark, and the bad, and... The Antichrist, the end of times, it's coming. Uh, that's all bullshit. It's not coming. He's already here, on the throne. He has been for a long time. On the contrary, what's coming is the opposite of what they say. The twisted reality, Hollywood, all that. And this guy, <laughs> he's not the Christ. He's just some guy with fantastic technology. And he's not alone. Oh, no. <laughs> you can be sure of that. <laughs> Who's he with? Who? I don't know. There is a group, a spiritual esoteric society, and they meet regularly and they have a leader and maybe they can lead you to the man, if he exists. I mean, physically. If he's not dead or a hologram or... Yeah, a projection. Where can I find them? Hmm? Who? The society you're talking about. I didn't tell you anything. I don't know anything. I can't help you. I don't know anything. I'm really sorry. I can't help you. I'm very sorry. This is for my research. It's for my research. I need it. I need it. What do you want? I'm sorry, I... Stop looking for him. What are you talking about? You know exactly what I'm talking about. Stop looking for him, or you're gonna be hurt. Who are you? Nobody. Don't ever follow me again. I just want to talk to him. That's it.
What are you doing here? I like your shit, man. It's cool. You know what my favorite movies are? Dark City, Blade Runner. I love that shit, man. Dark and hopeless. What do you want? Nothing. Just tell me what you told the girl and I'll be out. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. So it's gonna be long and painful. Now. Wait, wait. I'll tell you everything you want to know. Okay? That's it. And I'll be out and you'll never see me again. It was delicious. Thank you. My pleasure. I'm glad you liked it. I've got to confess. I ran an internet check on you. And? And I couldn't find a thing. Really? You check me? Do I have to worry? Am I under any kind of investigation, officer? No. <laughs> of course not. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's it's kind of a reflex I have. It's 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 part of my job. It's my job to know things. Probably. I'm sure you know more than what you seem. What makes you say such a thing? Why are you looking at me like that? Sorry. Bad habit. Just a reflex. You know, it's uh, part of my job as a negotiator to sense who's in front of me. And I have to confess something too. I'm from another planet. And I have special skills. Tell me, like what? Why don't you take me to your room and I'll show you? So it's gonna be long and painful.
Good morning. Breakfast. Sleep well? Thank you. I don't think we're ever going to catch this guy. It's this coast. Where the fuck is this guy? Vibration. Everything is vibration. We live in a vibrational universe, an attraction based universe. Light, sound, matter, everything is vibration. Even before you had a body. You were a vibration, and it's all interconnected. There is no separation. You, me, the entire universe. And your emotional system is your guiding system, talking to you all the time. So the game is not about what you have or do. It's about what you feel. Being aware of your emotions Listen to it. So, right now, how do you feel? Motherfucker! Mr. Crowford, as you know, I represent a large group of corporations working in the military and security industry. A single man, isolated. Being able to bypass every security system and speak directly to the mob makes us look like idiots. Now, my guess is that he's being helped by some foreign organization, the Chinese, the Russians. Whoever it is, I need to know. We are following every available lead, Mom, but this guy is heavily protected. Even the CIA are drawing a blank. Well, maybe they are behind it. I'm paying you to find out who is behind it, not to deliver theories. The clock is ticking, Henry. Amy, prepare the boat. Rosa, hi. How are you finding Barcelona? Fine. Wonderful. Listen, Rosa, there's still no dead body yet. You haven't forgotten our little deal, have you? I'm doing my best, but this guy is very well protected. I need more time. Don't fuck with me, Rosa. Find him. Now. sad it's 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 actually quite the opposite I, I'm I'm so in awe with everything that's happened with him he's just opened up my my life I mean I used to to work 
to, to gain money to buy stuff I don't need. And um, he just changed all of that. And it's it's incredible. I, I realized I, I was brainwashed. And I was like, like I've seen the light, you know? He, he comes into my program. He cuts into the program. He's, I mean, did he do that to all channels? Or was it just the one? Again, yeah, many frequencies. That's that's the bit I don't understand. How did he how did he do that? I mean, does he have a giant antenna somewhere that nobody knows about with microwaves shooting out, or am I vibrating and rocks are vibrating and everything's vibrating? And does it mean like on a on, on a scale that nobody sees, or like 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 the little atoms inside of us, the molecules are all vibrating? And, and then, then, then what happens? What, what what's making them vibrate? You know, and what happens if it stops vibrating? Are we are we gonna stop? Is that a warning? Is he warning us that things are gonna stop vibrating? Is that what it is? I don't understand it. I, don't, I mean, I, I don't get it at all. I wish I, I wish I had paid closer attention, really. I mean, this guy, he's got this beautiful energy. I mean, if you just close your eyes and just hear him talk, he just takes you to places. He just, I think he does have the power to bond us all together and make this world a much more beautiful place. Isn't that what we all want? I think this is what we needed. It's, it's, it's just great. The strange man has struck again this afternoon. This time, the broadcast covered the Iberian Peninsula, parts of France, of Italy, and North Africa. So, tell me, what is this all about, Priscilla? This man is a terrorist. He's got a sectarian mind. He is dangerous, especially for the weakest of us. He's got to be caught and locked up, period. Isn't um, terrorist a little harsh? There's no victim whatsoever. Oh, yes, there is. Freedom of choice is the first victim. This outlaw is hijacking the media, and people have a right to choose what they want to watch. It's basic. He's a media dictator. This is an act of tyranny. And as I told you, he has a sectarian mind. So now, what defines a cult leader? Well, there's a few things. Number one, they use a cryptic vocabulary, and that isolates the target from the other people. And number two, they remain in hiding. Think about it, where is he right now? Why is he not here defending and discussing his ideas? It's because he's afraid of becoming unmasked. And this has just simply got to stop. Think about Jim Jones, you remember Jim Jones. He was preaching love and then it turned into a massacre. That's the road we're on. And I swear to God, I will always fight against these people and try to warn the public, always. And just as I wrote in my book, when freedom and democracy are attacked, it is our duty to fight back without mercy. Everybody is concerned about the technology this guy is using and nobody looks at the message. And what's dangerous about it? It's pacifist. You could use the same slogan for a soda commercial. Feel the vibe. But they don't see the bigger picture. Well, some of them do. Some of them do, and they're actually the most dangerous ones who are after him. What's revolutionary is the message. You can kill a man, but you can't kill an idea. This guy, this guy, or these guys, they're like a virus. They will keep on spreading long after their deaths. And the authorities? <laughs> the authorities, they don't get it. Because they're preoccupied with themselves. They're like guarding dogs who are looking after their food while somebody is opening the gate to free the sheep. A new era is coming. It's already here. We haven't even noticed it. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah, don't worry. That was to me all of the time. Sell it to their gas. Sure. He had a wife. A wife? Yeah, yeah. She lives in she lives in Paris. 
this is her name. Oh, and about your guy Will Gray? Couldn't find anything special on him. This is unofficial. How did you find me? I was lucky. Oh yeah, lucky. Who gives a shit anyway? He was working for the French counterintelligence. That's where I met him. Trained by the Americans. Have you heard of MK Ultra Project? Mind control? Yeah, that kind of stuff. Crawford was ex British intelligence. He recruited Frank for his new private agency. Are you sure about that? Frank recruited me to watch his back. Is that the best idea, considering the result? So, you work for Crawford too? Not really. Not officially. Nobody knew. Then, there was that operation in Morocco. It was supposed to be an easy one. It was a disaster. Frank was killed in a drone strike. A drone strike? In Morocco? On the border, near Algeria. Apparently he wasn't aware of it. Wrong place, wrong time. <laughs> Soon after that, I lost my job at the French intelligence service. Alcohol problem, they say. Did you see the body? What body? There was only dust and ruins. I think he's alive. You've seen the video. It could have been recorded before or computer made. And why would anyone use his face? I don't know. Maybe to scare Crawford. He's a snake. I've never liked him. Before Morocco, Frank was smelling something wrong. He was suspecting someone to be a double agent. I felt it was in danger. He should have listened to me and stayed in Paris. Francesca, there's something going on in Barcelona. There's a group of people that's protecting him. Trust me, he's alive. I can prove it. Why would he do that? Disappear? Hide from me? Maybe he's just trying to protect you. Protect me? From what? From being happy? 
from having a normal life. And what else can you remember? His funeral. The empty casket. And all these hypocrites bragging about how they knew him, what a great friend he was. Service to the nation. All this bullshit. His only friend wasn't even there. What friend? Kind of a friend. An Englishman. His contact in Morocco. Do you remember his name? No. Larry or Jerry or... William. Yes, William. William what? Some color, I think. Blue. Green. Gray? Yes, well gray. <laughs> he was funny. He was different. Will Gray knew Frank Minolta. His ghost. Why? Do you know him? No. I'm just trying to get the big picture. He was the love of my life. What the fuck are you doing here? How do you get in? Do you have any more stupid questions? What do you want, Kruger? Nothing. Actually, I want you to know something. Really? Apart from the fact that the company forbids any type of personal involvement with another agent, you don't want to spend the rest of your life worrying about what she might pour in your tea. Get to the point. She's one of the best amongst us. There's a little lovely little spider in your bed, my friend. You're full of shit. Remember the Shanghai incident? 200 people died by an accidental poisoning for an AC system. Well, well she was the accidental part of it. So, my friend, I suggest you put your dick back in your pants. Focus on the job. Unless you like fucking poisonous animals. And eventually end up vomiting your guts out. It's none of your fucking business. It's just a warning. Why are you doing this? Human compassion, I guess. Get out.
Tienes que morir, hija. Now you listen very carefully to me, Crowford. If you are not able to complete this task, I'll find someone who can. And I'll have your head on a pike. Where the fuck is he hiding? What do you know about the operation? Huh? You're gonna have to talk, my friend. <laughs> Who is it? It's me. What do you want? I just want to talk to you. Get in. Sit down. I just want to tell you something. Maybe you're never gonna see me again. Why? You going somewhere? I'm really sorry that things turn out this way. I... I wanted to tell you, but... I know I should have. I tried to tell you, but this... Get just... to the point, Rosa! All right. You know what it's like to kill someone? Don't push me. Do you know what it's like to look someone in the eyes? Suffering, agonizing because of you. Do you know what it's like to watch a human being 
taking the wrong glass and drinking it with a smile. While you're dying inside trying to tell that person, don't drink it, it's full of arsenic, you're going to die. Do you know what it's like? I don't see No, the... you don't. So shut the fuck up and go back to your electronic toys and your spy gadgets. You don't understand me. I know I'm a bad person. And I know I did terrible things. And maybe there's no retention for me. But I just wanted to tell you that I love you. And that you are the first man that I really ever truly love. So I'll be more than happy to die today. I can't do this. The only way out is to kill them all. War! Crime, terrorism, violence, inequality, injustice, corruption, contamination, pain, loss, in a word, fear. Fear controls you. Fear clouds your mind and your judgment. Fear makes you react impulsively and paralyzes you. If someone wants to control you, he will give you fear. On, On the, the other hand, hand, you have peace, beauty, kindness, fun, growth, progress, tolerance, sharing, thankfulness, in a word, love. You're the one in charge in your life. If you think you're not, it's because you've given away your power to someone else. Every second, of every minute, of every hour, you have the power to decide. The power to decide how you feel about the situation. You may not control the external facts, but you do control the way you choose to feel about them. The worse you feel, the closer to fear. The better you feel, the closer to love. So. How do you feel? The world is rotten. One day you finally understand that everybody is spying on everybody. And that your boss is doing business with the enemy. And that your dead friends are dead for nothing. You just have to shut the fuck up. It's not working. I can't find him. Do you really want to find him? What I really want is a way out. I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to kill him. I'm tired. I feel I'm trapped. There must be another way out. Why don't you just disappear? Because they'll go after Mama. Not if you're dead. Hey, dead is not that bad. Look at me. I've been dead for three years now. It's just a new life. You can leave your stuff on the beach and pretend that you've drowned. 
they won't buy it. They'll need a body. Yeah. Well, the body is not that hard to find these days. Isn't there a poison that could fake death? Poison? Maybe. Does the blowfish? The Japanese deadly fish. With the appropriate dosage, it, it could fake death. For a moment. Tienes que morir, hija. What? Nothing. The dream that I have. Death. Death may be the way out. Can I ask you a question? Do you believe what he says? Do you care? Yes, I really do. No need to believe. Just try. You're Japanese, right? You're a cook. How do you know that? Would you do something for me? I need a special ingredient. And you can find it for me. A deadly fish. Poisoning is like cooking. Too little and you miss. Too much, and it's a mess. I don't like what she's doing behind my back. This is out of control. Plus, she knows too much. Meaning? She could be the only one that can lead us to the guy. I'll find another way. She's a liability. I can't afford to take that risk. Are you sure? Go to her. Find out what she knows, and then do what you do best. Hmm? Humans like comfort. They don't need freedom. They want to live in peace and reproduce. Humanity is a very primitive living organism with a few sparks of intelligence here and there. It's a pack animal and it asks to be led. Dogs like sugar, but it's not good for them. 
The same could be said about humans and freedom. With all due respect, Mom, aren't you part of that same humanity? Do you think I'm free? I'm part of the organism and I work for its well-being. I provide security and a good night's sleep. Absolutely, Mom. Now we do have another problem. Another problem? Mass defection in the ranks. People are quitting or, or simply disappearing. And Well, we can't kill all of them, can we? Well... We're on the verge of a revolution. A revolution spiralling out of our control. But if we don't stop them quickly, they'll be coming after us next. They, Mom? The crowd, Henry. The crowd. The poor idiots. Huge wave made up of the dirty, disgusting mob. And the world will return to chaos. Will you do it? There's got to be another way. We've been through this. What if you don't get the dosage right? I die. What if the ambulance is late? I die. What if they can't reanimate you? Will. Is that the resolution that I have? I need to take the poison Gregor to find me death and then report to Crawford. How are you going to make him leave? You will call the police. They are going to be here in eight minutes max. Gregor will hear them and leave. It's too risky. Will you do it? Where is he? Hmm? Where the fuck is he hiding? I don't know. Sit down. What do you know? You won't get near him. I'll blow your fucking brains out. Go ahead. Even if I knew, I wouldn't tell you. Oh, don't play games with me. I don't have time for this. Of course you don't. You're not even human. You just take orders and process them. Like a computer. I used to be like that. Wrong answer. Go ahead. Do me a favor and press the trigger. I have too many regrets. Much guilt. I thought I could start over. Last chance. Where is he? He's nowhere. He's everywhere. It's too late. My name is Rosa. I'm a professional assassin. And this is my confession. By the time you watch this, I will be dead. 
I'll voice on myself and I won't miss. I never do. I started killing at an early age. My first victims were my parents. My father used to rape me. And my mother, she wouldn't do anything about it. I killed them both with belladonna berries from their own garden. I learned from a poison master. She used to be like a mother to me. She taught me everything she knew. Now she's an old peaceful woman. When I was still a teenager, a man recruited me. His name is Henry Crawford. I've killed a lot of people for him. I'm not proud of it. I never knew the identity of any final client, but I know that they are all dark souls pulling the strings behind the curtain, obsessed with control and deprived of any emotion. My last mission was to kill this man, so-called terrorist hijacking the TV channels. He's not a terrorist. I won't fulfill the mission. I'm tired. I'm tired of all this, of being a puppet. I finally realized that nothing matters but love and forgiveness. Maybe I don't deserve it. Not in this life. Maybe in another. I'm so sorry. Domination, control, power, and the misuse of power, and a misunderstanding of the concept of power. It's always about domination over nature, domination of uh, the animal kingdom, domination... <laughs> How do you 